But now, now it's your turn. My yeah, it's my turn to put my. Um, and, and there are interesting comments that people said that you know the affordable furniture. But I think what needs to happen is just a, let's talk about well-designed furniture, mm -hmm. or let's talk about the unique design furniture from Trinidad, St. Augustine, and let's see where the discussion goes. But I think there's that open space for affordable design furniture for the young for the young couple of a new house and stuff. But um, going back to your furniture, are you going back to like the, the, the classical way no. furniture was built, say, probably 40 or 50 years ago? No. Or you were just coming directly uh, like a new modern? Uh, I think new modern uh, functional, functional. Because, uh, I mean, I've done it when I was in university at UV and my, uh, what is it? I built this big piece of furniture that could have been taken apart and move for access. So what I'm trying to do is to talk about a certain amount of practicality of design. The designs are basically, for now, uh, designed in a way where it's simple to build. Um, it's not very, it's not using old mortars, joints and the mortar joints, but it's very um, simple designs of, you know, one on top of each other. Like a Japanese kind of design. Yeah. Right? It's a simple, and one of the practical reasons that I can build it. I'm not a, I'm not a very qualified Carpenter. Well, carpenter, I'm a designer. So if I design that... <laughs> yeah, yeah, designer. Yeah, I'm a designer, but I, I design simply to, to create well, and build. But, build. But, but I mean, you have in your, in your um, portfolio that the, the people are who are going to build these things are qualified enough. You mentioned something um, on the disabled. Oh, that's what's the, the, the playground. No, you're talking about this able company that will map. Oh, yes, and the National Center for People with Disabilities. They have like a blind association. Yeah, they, they, the rock they, they have a, a woodworking um, factory where these students and young people, they build furniture and they basically, you could go to them and they will, you could work with them and I find that they have really good furniture and I think um, when I heard from them, I heard, I heard from them, I heard about them from Rhoda because she come one of the she got to build and it's well done. And I think it's a nice, it's a good collaborative thing and I think because they're doing something positive with young people and it's a good way for me and stuff. And actually out of all the other corporate business oriented people, <laughs> they were too either too busy or they were they had labor problems and some of them are even closing down their, their factories. factories and stuff. And they are there and it's very interesting how we how we met. You know. So when are we gonna see the prototype of your 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 furniture? When yeah. what's your schedule? I would like to, I would like to start building them at the end of this month and hopefully by Hopefully by the end of the year, I should have, I should have um, at least a body, a body of furniture to present. And I think um, you know, we'll one have the catalog, the corporate image, the call card. You know, I've spoken to Marco. Marco, they said keep them in touch, keep in touch with them to you know let, let them see what. Because I think they want to follow up on it. I like them to do something in their catalog, uh, in, in their magazine. magazine. So, you know, the idea is just for me, it's just the journey of doing this, all this design. You'll see the logo, <laughs> and then I should have brought But finally, Vadim, what about your paintings now? How are you going to, I mean... I'm still painting, I mean, I always paint, and I have, right now I have four, four canvases, actually, that of the size of this wall. Um, so I'm working on larger pieces. Uh, I would like to do larger things, and this is why the furniture, the furniture hopefully, you know, is to go out into the... To make money, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> make money. Come on, yeah, you know. I have to do a cultural thing. Uh, uh, because in Trinidad, the whole thing, because, well, you have to say that the, the, the conference is, will be ne who, next what conference? year. The conference of public art, and that's what it, part of the UV project. But this is an international no, part of the UV project was, uh, the, the part of the UV's cultural project, there was a com conference component. And that conference component is to deal with public art and how uh, how public art is in Trinidad and how it can affect. So so far we have um, 
you know, Tom Finkel, one of the world calmness, and Sasha and TD, and it's a talk about pop culture mm -hmm. in Trinidad and Tobago from a historical to, to now position and to the future. And for me as an artist, because I, I studied sculpture installation, that's what I did. And doing sculpture in Trinidad is hard enough. <laughs> so I say, part of the sculptural playground is how do you get sculpture into into our society, so the playground. But as a playground, you it must be interactive. Yeah. It must be where children or people can. And so the is the next accessible point. This is the next accessible point to introduce culture. And uh, I think it, it, to me, the furniture is culture. It's, well, you know, it's big. Yeah, the form design. Yeah, uh, so I want to. So I see the furniture as part of that. It's accessible. It will hopefully be marketable money <laughs> and then I can use that money to do other projects because I have another project in mind. Which is the urban the urban project hopefully we want to collaborate with the panel in um, UV uh -huh. and do you know St. John's Road going up to Mount St. Benedict right. it comes all around the Tunapuna Road in the Tunapuna. Uh -huh. We like to get artists to go in there and hopefully in design you know interject into these spaces, how to how to make people how to how to make the movements easier for people who, who negotiate this this road, you know things like seats and things like um, drainage and, and uh, things like uh, you know whatever. So the artists will have to go in and design elements and things so it's more like it's a study. It's a study of just of, of well, it's an idea to, to see that artists could become could. You know, um, be could collaborate with the technocrats uh -huh. and be techno and and could that was a little uh, be technocrats. Nah, not be technocrats. That's a wrong word. But we can assist the technocrats in making a better welfare. Because if you walk around Trinidad, look at the covers, and if you look at Trinidad as an urban planet, it's badly designed. Um, how are it? Um, there's this interesting book by this, this same guy, Tom Finkel, called Dialogues in Public Sculpture. There is this um the solid Phoenix solid waste project. It's a recycling well, right. um, oh. Yeah, two artists. Uh -huh. Two artists they were the head of the um, this project and the technocrats. Right. Listened to the artists. They actually designed it and built it and, and the engineers had to follow lead, which is a very interesting and why did it work? Yeah, it so it's just recycling. Yeah, um, it's a recycling plan. I think we need and some uh, form of recycling journal. Okay, hopefully we like to get those two artists to come to the conference to oh. present their project. And how they how they went about it and how they did it, but but in that you know, I think we artists could assist in how planning is done, and I think.